So two questions for you, Kristen. First, um, if someone moves here from North Carolina or out of state, is their will still valid? And two, is this going to be expensive? I mean, because I get that a lot too. How much is it? Because I'm I don't want to be spending two thousand dollars to get a document updated. And can I just go online and get it free and or a, a template from uh, in the internet and do it? So, a is it is it a will from another state valid? And B, can I just go do this for free rather than pay someone to do it? It depends on the will from the other state. Florida has specific guidelines that have to be followed for a will to be valid, and other states have different guidelines. So it kind of depends on what it looks like, which is why it's good if you move from another state to at least have it evaluated by, evaluated by a lawyer. A lot of lawyers will offer free consultations where you can go in, have it reviewed, get the tips from the lawyer like I gave to you, and then if you decide after that to hire them, then you can worry about the prices and what it would cost. As far as getting something from online, each estate plan should be tailored to a person's situation and their needs, and if you get a standard form online, it's not going to be tailored to their needs. It's going to be a fill in the blank, which isn't always the best way to go. And Honestly, sometimes those can be just as expensive as the local lawyer. Uh, you know, it's it's a great point. I talk about this as well when devising an income plan with people. You know, I'm sure that you can go online and get a retirement income plan template and you fill it out and it says this is what you do, what you should do. But there's a lot of intricacies when it comes to retirement planning. And I'm assuming the same with when creating legal documentation. So it's not, you know, not so much just about the legal words and making sure those are right but making sure it's tailored to your need. You know.